best friends Becky and Hunter rock climb in the movie's opening sequence alongside Becky's husband Stan. Dan is fiddling with a particularly tough opening when a bat flies out of the fissure he was holding on to, startling him and causing him to lose his footing. Dan tries to swing back while still attached to his harness, but instead he falls to his death. After almost a year, Becky's life is a complete chaos. She isolates herself and doesn't answer any calls. Having become engulfed in sadness, resigned to drinking, and estranged herself from her father since he did not believe Dan was good enough for her. She tried to take her own life before Hunter arrived. In an effort to comfort her, Hunter offers that Becky join her in climbing a 2,000-foot abandoned TV tower in the desert. Once they reach the top, they would spread dense ashes as well as provide Becky a therapeutic experience to help her deal with her grief and terror. Hunter is thrilled and happy when Becky finally agrees to climb the tower with her. The adventure freak Hunter is now a prominent Instagram personality. The ascent of the tower is just the most recent in a string of outrageous actions she pulls off to get notoriety and satisfy her need for excitement. Hunter demonstrates to her how to charge her phone by plugging her charger into the lamp's leads and utilizing that as a power outlet as they eat dinner at a restaurant before continuing their journey to the tower. To start their quest, the girls left the motel room. While driving, Hunter is filming the insane expedition they are about to go on. A large truck suddenly passes directly in front of them, luckily, it missed them by a tiny gap, averting a fatal collision. The girls attempt to drive up to the tower but are unable to open the gate. As a result, they begin to move in the direction of the tower when they come across a half-dead coyote being attacked by a group of vultures. Hunter takes a picture of the dead coyote as they drive the vultures away. The girls quickly make it to the tower's base, where they begin ascending the internal ladder. Due of her nerves, Becky almost withdraws, but Hunter persuades her to continue. It is shown how unstable the tower's overall construction is, and as a result of the strain being placed on the steps, the screws joining the ladders and keeping them upright are scarily close to unscrewing themselves. At the bottom of the internal ladder, which leads to a platform, the girls arrived. From there, they have to climb an additional 200 feet to the tower's peak. Unseen to Becky and Hunter, one of the bolts loosens as they ascend the ladder. The girls eventually reach the top of the tower, where they successfully scatter Dan's ashes. Becky and Hunter were both hard hit by this emotional occasion. With the aid of Hunter's 4K camera drone, they also take images of themselves dangling in perilous situations. When they finally make the decision to start climbing down again, Becky starts to climb when the ladder's unscrewed section falls loose, forcing the ladder to topple and fall to the ground. A satellite dish mounted below is also damaged, as a result of Becky dropping the backpack containing their drone and water bottle on top of it. Hunter is able to use the harness to raise Becky. Her knee likely suffers a significant gash as a result, and Hunter assists her in stopping the bleeding by creating a bandage. In the chamber at the base of the tower, they also discovered a flare pistol and a binocular. Becky and Hunter are stuck at the top of the tower, unable to locate a signal, rendering their cell phones essentially worthless. The two try to look for assistance using their binocular and observed a trailer parked up close to the gate. After waiting for five hours and thinking that no one had heard the ladder crash and no one was coming to help them. To send a message that had already been composed using Hunter's Instagram, they intended to lower the phone a few feet so that it could regain service. They finally decide to drop the phone by placing it in one of Hunter's shoes and padding the shoe with Hunter's sports bra. They reason that this will cause the phone to regain signal while falling and transmit the signal. The phone eventually breaks and even a dog owned by one of the trailer park residents sniffs the shoe and discovers the phone without turning to face the tower. Finally, the girls wait until nightfall before using the flare gun to attract their attention. Unfortunately, rather than driving the trailer to assist them in approaching the barrier, the men robbed the car they had parked there. Becky and Hunter begin to feel hungry and thirsty. Becky views a video of her and Dan's marriage and observes Hunter's dejected expression as explosive emotions flare up. This compound drives Becky to confront Hunter by disclosing to her that Dan had difficulty confessing his love for her, and instead chose to speak those three numbers. This compound is inscribed 143 on Hunter's ankle. 
Dan started an affair with Hunter following a drunken encounter, which lasted for four months, according to Hunter. After Dan passed away, Hunter was compelled to cut ties with Becky since she had ended her relationship with Dan and placed a higher emphasis on her friendship with Becky. The next day, Hunter decides to descend to the satellite dish and attempt to grab the bag containing the water and the drone after regretfully realizing that the phone is broken and no one is coming. She descends to the top of the satellite dish using the harness before using the other dish as a springboard to reach the bag. Hunter succeeds in reaching up using the selfie stick to reach the harness. She looks to slip and tumble to the dish as she begins to climb up, Becky tugging her from the top. Despite her hands being severely damaged, she is alive when Becky, who is horrified gets to peep down. But Becky is able to help her stand up. The drone's battery starts to run low, forcing them to recover it as Becky attempts to use it to transport a piece of paper to the motel where they had spent the previous night. Becky ascends to the port where the tower's night light is attached, recalling Hunter's trick of charging the phone via the lamp leads. She struggles to climb up the pole with her injured leg already smelling, unscrews the light, and connects the drone's charger to the lines using her wedding ring as a conduit. Becky clutches on for dear life as the drone slowly charges, just avoiding the vultures sent blood from her injured leg. The girls finally attach the piece of paper to the drone and fly it over the gate toward the motel after charging it. Her aspirations of ever delivering a message are dashed when a truck collides with the drone and destroys it, as fate would have it and as a reference to a previous incident in the first tack. Dehydration and delirium eventually cause Becky to lose consciousness, and she almost falls off the platform. In order to put down her phone and request assistance, she ultimately asks Hunter for her other shoe. She doesn't have the shoes because she wasn't supposed to be here, Hunter responds calmly. Then it becomes clear that she died when Hunter tripped and fell into the dish. Becky was only able to lift the bag. Becky made up Hunter who had been supporting her through the remainder of the events up until this point. It makes sense because Hunter who had been by Becky's side when she had returned to the platform had been more cautious, trying to give Becky moral support to make Becky remain alive. The next day, a vulture flies down and takes a break on the platform. It approaches Becky's leg and begins to peck at the skin. Becky waits for the right time to grab the vulture by the neck and smash it to death. After devouring it to regain strength, Becky finally succeeds in attaching herself to the leash and lowering herself to the dish, where Hunter's lifeless body lies half mangled by the force of the fall. She has already had her guts chewed apart by the vultures. The vulture that is gnawing on Hunter's flesh turns to gaze at Becky's face covered in blood and then flees. After typing a message to her father on her phone and placing it inside Hunter's sneaker and in her exposed belly, Becky pushes off the dish while sobbing inconsolably and whispering, I love you, Hunter. In the later scene, Becky's father, James, is seen driving near the tower and reaching toward the base to discover that there are already police and emergency personnel there. His heart skips a beat when she sees a dead body being hauled off by the medics. When he eventually spots Becky, the film closes with their emotional reunion. Was their decision to climb the 2,000-foot tower brave or simply a bad idea? Please share your thoughts in the following comment section. If you appreciate watching this, kindly click the like and subscribe buttons.